When responding to a likelihood of confusion office action, it's crucial to address the key factors from the landmark case in Re E I Dupont de Nemours. Today, we'll focus on two main factors and how to overcome related objections. The first factor is the similarity of the trademarks. The USPTO examiner may object that your mark is too similar to an existing registration. To counter this, argue the differences in appearance, sound, connotation, and commercial impression. Highlight unique elements, different spellings, and distinct visual components. The second factor is the similarity of goods and services. If the examiner claims your goods and services are too similar to those of the cited mark, counter by emphasizing differences in function, purpose, and channels of trade, showing your goods and services target distinct customer bases, and arguing your mark's goods slash services are in a separate industry or niche. To bolster your arguments, conduct a thorough comparison of the marks and goods and services, provide evidence of differences, like product images and marketing materials, and cite prior TTAB decisions with similar fact patterns ruling no likelihood of confusion. While the similarity of marks and goods and services are key DuPont factors, a well-crafted response can overcome these objections. Argue the differences, provide strong evidence, and cite relevant precedent to increase your chances of success. Get your free response template at 2dlikelihoodofconfusion.com. Mastering likelihood of confusion is essential for protecting your brand. For more trademark tips, visit our website at trademarkraft.com.